I'm rewatching Breaking, Breaking Bad. Bad. Yeah, Crazy little, little Captain Crunch. <laughs> Before uh, I, I, I'm, I'm rewatching Breaking Bad, and I'm, I'm remembering all the lingo for, for meth that I've forgotten about, like the little like terms they use, like Scante. It's like the blast. best TV show ever made, dude. I, I'm on, I'm on the final season now. Oh, it's so. This cute. is like my that in like two months. Less than two months. I've been Jesus. blasting. How many ever, uh, How many seasons are there, like nine? Five. Five. Uh, it's not even like that. It's, it's like not, 62 episodes, I think. Yeah, it's not even that heavy. But goddamn, it's so good. You need to fucking I need to get rewatch, on rewatch it. Soon. You've never rewatched it? Mm -mm. I've I only saw it when it aired live. Well, I watched, of course, been like a lot of. That's almost been on Netflix until like season four. Yeah, next year's five. a decade since it ended. Holy Which, shit, that just dated me. Yeah, right. Wow. Next year's a fucking. It ended in 2013. <sighs> Isn't wait, that crazy, dude? That's when I graduated high school. 2013. Yeah, dude. Wait, so you would have been a senior. You would have been a junior. I would have been. A sophomore. I graduated 2012. Yeah, so you would have been a senior, junior, sophomore if we were all in high school together. Wow. We would have been like the cool kids hanging out. And I mean like all the underclassmen, like the other sophomores and freshmen would be like, he's hanging out with seniors and juniors? Holy wow, shit. Wow, look, look at this group. Remember how cool it was if you had like a friend that was like a senior? Or maybe that was just like in my eyes. I was like, whoa. Is that, so that's like grade 12, 11, 10? Yeah. Okay, yeah. Because in, in high school in Canada, it goes like 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. Okay. Eight's part of high school in Canada? Yeah. In, yeah. in, in some, at least in Vancouver, at least like where, like the, the municipality, like, or like school board, board school. For me, it was like one through five is elementary mm -hmm. and then six, to, six eight. to eight is middle school. But it was weird because where I lived, there was, there'll be different high schools like uh, Chapin High School, Dutch Fork High School, Irma High School. But before that, only one middle school takes in all of those students. So you'll get. It was just this one huge school dedicated to sixth grade called mm. Crossroads really? Middle School. Yeah. It was like for... I feel like that's probably better for like just like overall bullying and like, you know, everyone being friends. I went to a middle yeah. school slash high school. My my school did sixth through twelfth. It, so it was oh, like middle school and high school. So that was pretty good for bullying. <laughs> Speaking from the perspective of a bully, I could bully a lot of like Hell sixth yeah. graders. It, it was it was uh, funny being like a senior in high school and then seeing like sixth graders in the hall and shit. Um, goofy, they're terrified of of high schoolers because they're so much older. And I was terrified it. of high schoolers. Man, I, I remember when grade. I was like twelve, I was like, damn, man, I can't wait till I'm like fifteen, sixteen. I remember thinking that, that seems too. like an adult. Yeah, you're like you know I'm bossed up and like. Maybe partying. I, I saw my brother and sister like going out and getting yelled at by my parents. I'm like, damn, that sounds kind of sick. Like, it is weird to go through that like change yeah. of when I was younger, even seeing just older kind of kids as like older. It's like, oh, this is a, like an older, like more mature story. But now it's like they are super young kids. Yeah, and it's like, oh, you have a different perspective now. You you kind yeah. of you kind of lean more We're, towards the adults and the story of like, oh, you're well, it's so weird beaten down by life. I. Growing up, I always thought that like a senior in college was like an adult so old. And be, and I think it's because I didn't finish college. It's still in my head. For some reason, a senior in college feels older than me. But I just remember that like the 21, I, I, I would have I would have already passed four years out of college graduation at this point. Mm -hmm. So it's like, God damn. Dude, it's interesting. I remember always wanting to be older. And now I'm just like, dang, we are actually old now. Let's you know, just like, stay are you in 27? This range. Yeah, I'm 27 and a half at this point, kind of. 26? 26, 27? Like three quarters. 28. Respect. We go up. Yeah, we do. 26, 27, 28. Not bad. Bossed out. But it's a, yeah, it's a weird concept because, like, we're definitely still young. We probably, I mean, I'm probably going to croak at like 82. Okay. Probably. So I'm like a quarter, third done my life. But like, oh, I don't like thinking about it that way. But like, like percentage wise, dude, it's nuts. Cause like, I feel like most of like the good moments of your life, or like the 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 trying moments, have already happened, and then like now it's just living, you know? just cruising. Yeah, it's just cruise, just straight floating. Like, dude, I sometimes I think about that. I'm like, the best moment of my life might have already happened. You know, dude, I definitely peaked. I mean, like. I had la la la. That was the peak of my life. I remember sitting in my in my room playing World of Warcraft, and I was like, "I have a charting song. I'm, hey man. I'm never gonna amount to anything else in my entire life." Alex, just wait until until we start our boy band, three of us. That should be sick. You're gonna surpass la 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 like 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 it's nothing. You it's, can make it's come, gonna come, be come. fucking breadcrumbs. Yeah. Okay. It's gonna go platinum the first day it's out. That'd be insane. 
first day out, go it platinum. Will be insane. It's that would be, awesome. that, be monumental. That would be fucking crazy if you legitimately went platinum globally first day out. Has anyone ever done that? No. I mean, like Michael Not, Jackson, Drake. Well, like even on one song, I don't think that's even like humanly possible. Oh wait, platinum is like you need like you need like a well, lot of well, units. Platinum in America is a million sales, which is like one point five. If you were to equate it into streams, it's one point five billion streams. God damn. How many? St- wait, I remember. Si- how many streams do you have? Like seventy billion? No, not even that close. Not remotely. I think I'm at like two point nine. Oh. On Spotify, why did I think it was seventy billion? Well, that's less impressive. When it, get, when it gets no. to a billion, yeah, at that point is it's uh oh, only two billion streams, two two and a half billion <laughs> streams. But I mean, like that's in like you look at Bad Bunny, homie's done like sixteen billion like this year. That's insane, dude. dude you know, you know, his, he did a a week of touring and made two hundred seventy five million dollars a week of touring. One day we'll be thinking in the millions and billions. Isn't that crazy? Like that, that's fucking insane. Dude, like we're living through like like Bad Bunny's arguably one of the most successful acts in the past like thirty years. He's the new Michael Jackson in my eyes. He's well, he's like Puerto Rican not, Michael Jackson, but he's also probably not that much of a scumbag. And then two, he's like really tapped in scumbag. Michael Is, Jackson. You, <laughs> well, which musical artists are scumbags? They provide you with joy. They provide you a very nice parasocial, like, emotional attachment to, like, current feelings, past emotions, your future And it's timeless. Why, why is Michael Jackson a scumbag, by the way? What didn't he do? He did, he did a lot of things. Yeah. He, I mean, uh, he made great made music. The, mo- the best-selling album of all time, for one. Was it really? Thriller, yeah. Thriller, really? Mm-hmm. Oh, I thought it was, like, Eagles. Recorded on this mic, by the way. He that wrote, exact one. This exact one. This is this. His estate gave this to me after he passed. They said, "Matt, Here. honestly, he wanted you to have this." Uh, we do. I I knew him growing up uh, from Neverland Ranch. Oh, nice. I'd do like some sleepovers there. Not anything like crazy, like weird. He just give you milk and cookies, put on the fireplace. Yeah, warm milk and cookies. Just read me like a bedtime story. Ram Ranch. Yeah. No, again, you're making him out to be some kind of creep, dude. <laughs> you guys know Ram Ranch, right? Of course I know that Ram Ranch. That shit's so good, bro. What's it even from? <gasps> He's from Calgary, I think. Ram Ranch? Yeah. I don't know what it's from, but it's from YouTube. I've always just heard the audio clip used in a bunch <laughs> of shit. Was it 19 Naked Cowboys in the shower at Ram Ranch? Yeah. Dude, it's it's sick. It's fucking classic shit. Yeah, you need sick. to You need a bar about Ram Ranch. By hanging at Ram Ranch with the boys. He doesn't well, like you, you guys should do a podcast at Ram Ranch. Is it a real place? Probably. Why don't you make it a real place? We can't. We could just make it a real place. We could. Ram Ranch. We'll buy the estate next to Neverland Ranch. <laughs> okay. I wonder if. I wonder if the what's his name? Uh, Doug. What's his name? John. No, it's Brant McDonald or something. Like that's the guy. That's the artist of Ram Ranch. But I wonder if he has social media. You guys should reach out to him. Get him on the podcast. I would love to do that. And you know, I, I, I love. <laughs> I love when artists like. When you find out their real name, it's just the goofiest shit. What's 50 Cent's Curtis something? Lepore. Yeah, Curtis Lepore. Really? No. Curtis Lepore is a Viner, right? He's a rapist, too. But, yeah, Viner as well. (laughs) (laughs) Well, that went, yeah. Nice. You know, none of us are perfect, Ryan. That is true. We're all human. (laughs) And, yeah. I love... What are you trying to say? I love to... I love, like... We're defending a rapist like none of us are perfect. Well, I mean judges do it every day, right? Rape? No, well, rape and defend rapists. They do. Well, lawyers defend rapists. That's got to be awkward as hell, dude. Like being a lawyer and it's like you've just taken that oath to defend people and it's like, yeah, my client yeah. killed like six people and it's like so obvious. Your client's like innocent. Fuck. <laughs> Cuz then you got to argue his like plea. I mean, I think that I think that when you're becoming a lawyer, you you kind of like separate yourself from the case. You know, it's just like it's paper. You work but what on about paper, like, but what about like the lawyer, for instance, that like has to represent like the Parkland shooter? Like that has like there has like I feel like there there's a there's a moral limit with being a lawyer where like a lot of lawyers would not ever touch anything like that. I don't think there is a a, a moral limit. Like, I, like genuine. I think, ever? I think, I, I, I don't. I think that's the whole point of being a lawyer. You get your name out there. It like, does if you represent. But that, for me, it'd be like the biggest thing would be like my family and friends looking at me. I yeah, mean, like you're representing like a sure. like a school shooter and defending him. You can focus on your new friends, Lincoln, Benjamin. Yeah, hey, 
Grant. Yep. My re- my relative. That's his name. Grant McDonald. Is uh, Ram Ranch. Oh, that's a cool name. Grant McDonald? <laughs> yeah. He had a ranch. Oh, Grant McDonald had a ranch? Yeah. And on that ranch he had 18 naked, naked cowboys. cowboys. Yeah, <laughs> there you the go. Showers. There you go. By the way, we didn't introduce our guest. Uh ladies and gentlemen, this is the uh Dude, there's a fruit fly that won't fucking there's, leave There's me been alone. a fruit fly in this room for the past, like, three to four There's, like, one podcasts. fruit fly that's in this room that just fucking just chilled. Like, who knows it, why he's still here. He's not in here when we're just sitting, but when we start recording, maybe it's the lights. Like, is the it the light. one that you, you were trying light? to kill on the Sprite can? How I, long has that Sprite can been in here? Oh, I thought you just brought that in to drink. Mm-mm. Oh, maybe it's that. Probably that. Or maybe it's that. I have my La Croix, you know? Ooh, I could use a La Croix right now. But anyway, uh... Uh, baby no cummies. He's here on the podcast once again. We had him on uh, almost a year ago, uh, but that was just an audio episode. Has it really been that long? It was already? November. Fuck me. It was, Time it was November is flying. Mm-hmm. because remember, I thought it was this year, like early, like January. Dude, I feel like it was November because happened this year. You know? Do you guys feel that? Like that feel what? Like that nothing is kind well, of happened. Well, unfortunately, us, I can't say the same. <laughs> for us, a lot has happened. Well, no, same here. Like I've legitimately done like a hundred shows. I've traveled to like forty different countries. Like I've been incredibly busy, but I just feel like nothing has happened. I don't. know, Time is going way too fast. This year has like I, I keep thinking about uh, New Year's Eve. And I think back to New Year's Eve, and it literally feels like two weeks ago. But then I think back to, like, Creator Clash, and that, that feels, like, longer ago than New Year's Eve. Yeah. Fucking wild, dude. Time When is... was that, April? May. May. Yeah. May, like, 15th? 14th. 14th? I think 14th. so. One of those days. Yeah, I think I... I think... God damn it. Yeah, dude, it's really flies. pissing me the fuck off right now, man. I hope they're not getting in my drinks. What? This, this fruit the fly, fly, it makes it look like we have a gross office, I mean, which do, you know is not the case. It's a very nice office. It's, it's not ever, It's not dirty. There's a little cummy on the ground in the in the computer There office, are stains but. on the carpet that I don't know what they are, like the black stains on the carpet. Oh, it's right there. There's two, another one. Oh, there's two. There's two? Yeah, there's, yeah, there's a lot. There's over there. <sighs> this hey. is, I, that's my coffee, I just brought that. I bet Leighton left that damn Sprite in here. Whoa, dude. Did that you is, like that? Wait. That moment bubbles don't bubble anymore. The moment yeah. it just made it went. Tss. Dude, I had I I've been having such bad GERD to the point where whenever I have like bubblies, I just pour them, keep pouring them until all the bubbles are gone, and then I can drink. Isn't it. GERD what like babies get? No, it's like that's what pretty sure that's pregnant what women get. get. It's GERD, gastrointestinal reflux disorder. Is that just so, acid reflux? Yeah, I got horrible acid reflux. Or worst. I used to, and then I got uh, prescribed Prilosec, and then pri- I took Prilosec for like a month, and it just went away for like two years, and now it's back. Vaping it's, makes it really bad. Yeah, vaping makes it terrible. Honestly, I would say uh, diet is like a really, really important thing, and sleep, and exercise. <laughs> I, poor, I still have like a pretty bad <coughs> diet. Apparently, your gut. I've done better with my sleep. Like, your gut is like apparently super linked to your mental health. Yeah, is what the neurologist told me. Dude, I. Uh, so I guess last year I was still going through really bad GERD and then uh, I ended up getting diagnosed with this something called small intestine bacteria overgrowth. It's called SIBO. And I took a a pill regime, like an antibiotic regime. So I killed my all of my gut bacteria. Oh all shit. Of it. And I you have was, to like regrow it? Yeah, I was so fucking depressed. I have never been more depressed. Like, dude, literally beautiful sun out, everything was blue. I've never I've like never seen like through through the eye of being like very very depressed and that shit was crazy like everything was negative i've never been more negative in my life like i guess just taking probiotics then get my fucking gut all healthy i know my gut's not healthy yeah, what's what's that yogurt called <clears throat> kefir yes yeah kefir is good i did one just landed on your lip <laughs> one really? landed like dude one, i hate this one <laughs> landed like on your uh, cupid's bow <laughs> cupid is that what it's called isn't that what it's called? The Cupid's Bow? It's called or a Fulcrum, too. Or something? I have no... I've never I like Cupid's that. Bow better than Fulcrum. Fulcrum is like... Sounds like a villain. He's like flying around your face. Oh. Dude, I'm gonna kill... I'm gonna kill his ass. Oh, th- <clears throat> Fuck this, dude. Dude, this is pissing me off. Let's go to ad break. Take care of these fruit flies. Uh, we'll be back in a minute with more... Uh, uh, um, uh, baby No... Uh, um, uh, funnies. Shadow Legends. He's very funny, actually. Why did you say no funnies? Where are they? Dude, he's just fucking bothering me, man. It's really pissing me the fuck off. Inflation has us all thinking about different ways to cut back. I've been driving a lot less and going out less, which sucks, especially around this time of year, because gas is too dang expensive. 
However, there's a little thing called upside that's turning that around for me. And it could do that for you too. Whether it's driving less, dining out less, or buying less from the grocery store, we can all agree there's nothing fun about less. That's why I started using Upside. Upside is an incredible app for anyone who buys gas, groceries, or dines out. With Upside, I don't have to cut back because I get cash back on every purchase. But what is Upside? Well, let me tell you. You get started, you download the free Upside app using promo code SUPERMEGA and you get $5 or more cash back on your first purchase of $10 or more. Next, claim an offer for whatever you're buying on Upside. Check in at the business, pay as usual with a credit or debit card, and get paid. I use it at the gas station. It's fantastic. You know, with inflation making gas prices so high, I uh, can just buy gas and then go get money back immediately using Upside. In comparison to credit card rewards or loyalty programs, you can earn three times more cash back with Upside. Upside users are earning more than a million dollars every week. That's probably why they have a 4.8 star rating on the App Store. Download the free Upside app using our promo code SUPERMEGA to get $5 or more cash back on your first purchase of $10 or more. That's $5 or more cash back on your first purchase of $10 or more using promo code SUPERMEGA. Inflation doesn't have to hurt this holiday season with Upside. This episode of the Super Mega Cast is sponsored by BetterHelp. Navigating any of life's challenges can make you feel unsure, whether it's a career change, new relationship, or becoming a parent. Therapists are trained to help you figure out the cause of challenging emotions and learn productive coping skills, which makes therapy the closest thing to a guiding tour of the complex engine called you. Mm. Mm. Better help make me pee pee hard. Look, when my pet rock died, I was overcome with so many sad emotions. But luckily, BetterHelp was there with a professional licensed therapist to help and guide me through the process of grief. I can tell you're a much happier man now, Ryan. Thanks, Matt. As the world's largest therapy service, BetterHelp has matched 3 million people with professionally licensed and vetted therapists available 100% online. Plus, it's affordable. Just fill out a brief questionnaire to match with a therapist. If things aren't clicking, you can easily switch to a new therapist anytime. It couldn't be simpler. No waiting rooms, no traffic, no endless search for the right therapist. Learn more and save 10% off your first month of BetterHelp.com slash SuperMega. That's BetterHelp, H-E-L-P dot com slash SuperMega. And we're back. Yeah, I, I made a fruit fly trap. It's on the table. It smells fantastic. So hopefully uh, we get it. I see one flying around. Over, oh, yeah. Hold on. It's probably oh, a neon sign. Yeah. You know, they're like, ooh, light. Oh, I see him. I see him. I see him. Oh. Oh, wait. Oh, he's okay. No, he landed on the trap. Okay. Keep, there's, there's one going in right. Oh, keep an eye on him. He's going to go in. He's he's investigating. Go on. Oh, yo, you got one. There's there. There, there was. Get his ass, get... Got another. Hey! Ryan, Thank you so one, much. There's still oh. one more. Where, where, where are they coming from, dude? There's no food or anything left out. What if this is a prank? What if Jim's like releasing fruit flies in here? He's like, fuck y'all. <laughs> fuck y'all having a comfortable work environment. He just thinks yeah. it's funny if he just releases like fruit flies. Like, like I'll get him back. You know, you know that tattoo uh, appointment that he had? Cancel that. Oh, dude, I could definitely like call him and be like, hey, this is Jim. His tattoo appointment for 2 p.m. during the workday? <laughs> And the day before the haircut at like 2 p.m. <laughs> oh, yeah. That's crazy. He's like, I'll be out Thursday. I'm getting a haircut. Oh. There's another one was right in front of your face. I saw him. He's back there now. Oh. He's by the computer. Let's that go. could be a fourth one, but but someone's going for the trap right now. He's trying to find his way in. Okay, wait, 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 wait. He's definitely about to go in. He's like, what treasures have I just have I just stumbled upon? Oh, yeah. His ass is going into that fucking trap. No, I don't think he's smart enough. <gasps> Oh. Give him a second. They they he, they always have to like chill for it for a second and be like, ooh, you know, figure it out. Unless you kill him, Alex. But then you know that would make all my toils for nothing. I'm two for zero right now. Literally two swings, two kills. Yeah, man. I I I, I I'm zero zero two. You know. Yeah. You fucking zero. did it. We're not zero good, zero we're not good two players. If we I dropped in trios six. right now, we would do terribly. You do well. Yeah. You'd be carrying us. I do carry a lot of emotional stress and yeah. weight. It's okay, man. How do you deal with it? How do you deal with all I this? I jack off. Okay. Yeah. Does that help? Yeah, I usually go left hand, like, outward in. Okay, I, I just stick to right. I actually recently, like, in the last, like, half a year switched over to left. Really? Yeah. Dude, it's, it's goaded. I don't know, it's like... Fuck, it's awesome, dude. I don't know why I go, like... Well, I, I, I go backhand, yeah. Wait, so you're out here just, like... <laughs> yeah. That, dude? It's kind of fire. I don't know. I gotta this, try that. This is like inward rotation, right? And it, I have like weird pigmentation because I used to be a, a, a swimmer, so I have my shoulders are kind of fucked. So going out is using my pronator teres, 
and uh, I, I study kinesiology. So you go like this, you grip, and you just like go like that. Okay. And then when you nut, you don't get anything on your hand. Oh, that's you're true, like, dude. It's like clear. It's like, doink. Yeah, it's like doing doing. Dude, you that's just, fucking awesome. You just kind of like step on on the floor, get it into the carpet. <laughs> yeah, so that's what we do notice. here at the Plex. You saw the stains <laughs> in the carpet. You nut, just kind of like, ah, just kind of like, you know, it'll dry. And then you get a steam clean. How many nuts have you? How many nuts in the office have you guys incurred? I think I've maybe busted two nuts in this office. Were you just like, were you just working? Well, I I, a video I was here by like, myself. Oh, Sometimes okay. you're here late at night to the early hours of the morning. You got a computer right in front of you. Yeah. Got a whole house. Yeah. You know? But the I, thing about this office is, like, you never know when someone else might just, like, unexpectedly show up. So? So, hey, man, if that's your thing. I mean, I'm not too worried about that. I, I You know, it's like, whatever. I'm not, I'm actually, I'm, I'm, I'm more embarrassed by someone seeing, like, the porn I'm watching than seeing me jerk off. Not that it's like freaky porn, but you're it's such, just, you're just in such a vulnerable state when you're jerking that's what, off. You know, it's like, that's your most like primal, vulnerable fucking. You're doing something just for yourself. You're doing some self care. Yeah, it's pretty, uh, it is self care. Well, okay, what's your guys' take? Like, if you have a long day ahead of you, okay. do you, at least for me, I, I find I can't write music post nut. Like, I can't jack off. I can't have sex. Like, I need to use the testosterone or whatever is in me. The, the the as like a boost of as energy. As a boost of energy. That's how I am. I, if I, I I I can't. I'm not a morning cranker because like I'll just get tired afterwards. Yeah, it's like for me. It's, for me, it's before bed. Yeah, yeah, exactly. It'll 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 shoot me. Also, like if I, I, I just I have like a, I think low, T level maybe because when I when I nut I'm, I'm all nutted out for for like a couple days. Usually. Dude, yeah. If I'm like you know hooking up with a with a lady, well, and. Uh, <laughs> And uh, we fist bumped. By if, the way, if if I not, there's nothing I can do about it. You know what I mean? Like, I'm done, dude. You know, I have I, I know all these guys. The gym do, where they brag. He's like, oh yeah, I can go ten minutes later again, and then again. And I'm like, I nut. I'm I am done. That is it. Yeah, that's like when you become infatuated with like someone. Like you usually just get or like you're like rabbits. But like I feel like Jim because he has because Jim's he has about three wives so for him it's easy to like switch between them and not get bored or well, there's have a more sexual arousal because he he planned it for each one to be of like separate body type and race as well just to mix it up which i think is a bit weird it feels more like it feels like kind of like white colonial collectivism 100 percent. yeah it's like he's collecting like the different races yeah you know that's jim's personal life i don't want to get into it on the podcast that much but they did do a study where um uh it's like a graph where it's like your sexual arousal with the same yeah, partner. I saw that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But if like when introduced to like a new subject, it's like brand new. It's like boing. That's so, why porn is so addictive. Well, you know, biologically, that's so we can spread our seed. Mm -hmm. You know, because animals be like, I got to keep spreading my seed. How many times do you guys go back to the same video? There was this one video. I got a couple. When I, when I first got into porn, there was this one video. You say it like you're like a porn star. Like when I first got into porn, you know, you know, I, I mean, when you first type in "ha ha boob," when you're like, you know, thirteen or fourteen, you're like, Whoa, "This is real." Yeah, when I discovered you could search boobs on the internet, I was like, my keyword at the time when I was young was just lesbians. Oh yeah, dude, I, bro, I'd be on the family computer looking up scissoring. Nice. My mom found that. I I almost went for a fist bump, but I I feel like we've done so much. I don't want to have the meaning lost. Dude, yeah. I remember when my It's like saying I love you, yeah. yeah. My mom was like trying to talk to me about like like social studies and I was like, "Yeah, we're we're I, I I like wasn't going to class at all and I was just like, "Yeah, you know, like we're we're learning about like lesbians and I just like heard it through like the grapevine and I was like didn't even know what it meant." And she's like, "What? What? <laughs> what are you learning in history?" <laughs> and uh and and I was like, "Yeah." She's like, "You know what that means, right?" And I was like 14. Like I didn't really know what that meant very well, like and, uh, yeah, it was just an awkward car ride. I remember being in the kitchen with my mom and my sister, and my sister said, like, something gay, and I was like, what's gay? She said something gay? No, she said something about gay people. Oh. And then and then I, I asked, that's when I found out what, what being gay was. Also, I've noticed since we brought the trap out, the fruit flies have, like, oh, tripled. Yeah. Have you noticed? There's, like, yeah, six Yeah, it's kind of dope. They're like, they came out from the woodwork. They come for harvest. That's good, though, because otherwise they would have been hiding and then one by one coming Ooh. out to do their little thing. They're probably having lots of sex back here. And There's got to be something in this room that's... that's. I wish we could be like frogs, just stick my tongue out, 
You, you know, you, you should get a, a a frog for the studio. That's the fucking move. Fuck that, dude. We need like a big bullfrog and <laughs> just let like him hop <laughs> around. Let it, let him go free. Has anyone seen the? Ah, oh. <laughs> <laughs> that'd be devastating. <laughs> I almost stepped on a baby bird here once. Yeah. Because we have an out there in that in the smoking section of yeah. the grill area, uh, the patio. We have we usually have a bird named Wanda uh, and her younglings, Wanda Two, uh, come and lay their eggs and have babies. One time, uh, one of the birds, I guess, just decided the nest was a little too cramped and so hopped out, but still couldn't fly. And we just went out for like a smoke break one day, and I went over it. And I th- were you out there? Were you right behind me? It was like either yeah. you were Leighton, and you and almost stepped on him right over the bird. Like I, if I just like <laughs> he was little little dude, but we we put him back in the nest. If I felt all the uh, uh, his <sighs> tiny little bones crunch or her tiny little bones, I would have been, been dead. So like I would I would be thinking about it for weeks. I'd have to I would have to go home and be like I have to shower. I have to get that feeling out of because I'd be able to remember that feeling. Yeah, oh, I'd probably cry. And but what if it wasn't like dead all the way? Would I have to? Th- would we have to like put it out of its misery? I'd finish the job for you. Thank man, you. Man, I was so I was just in uh, Jakarta, like I was saying earlier, and uh, there I've never seen more stray cats in my life. When I was in Thailand, same thing. It's Fucking just like little stray cats, just barrel cats. And they're so skinny. They were also they're sweet. They're so though. skinny and so like oh yeah, it was like very sad. They're really yeah. sweet though. At least the ones yeah, in really, Thailand, really, they'd I, always come up to you, probably yeah. for food, obviously, but they let you pet them. And I found this little cat that was like this big on when I was on an island in Thailand. Did I say island? I was on an <laughs> island in Thailand. Um, that was awesome. And uh, he would get up in my lap, and I've had like I formed a little relationship with him. And then one night, uh, I went back to my bungalow, and I was like, he followed me, and I was like, I wonder if I can like cuddle with this cat. So I took the wild cat inside, and I cuddled with him. And he was like, Remember, did, and shit. You, did you send me like pictures of yeah. you and this cat in bed? That's You're like, I just sick. took this dude. I, home. I just took a wild cat inside, and I cuddled with it, and he loved it, dude. He was like purring so hard. And then I he fell, still thinks about you. Well, I fell asleep, and then like an hour later, I woke up, and I guess he just suddenly like realized where he was, and he was freaking out. <laughs> he was like running around, like crying, and I and my cousin was like, "Matt, did you bring the fucking cat in here?" <laughs> Some feral wild cat. Yeah, yeah, and I probably got like ringworm from that guy, but then I put him outside. I put him back outside, and I saw him the next day, and he was fine. But these fruit flies are really getting on my nerves, man. I know. They're they're distracting me. <laughs> it's kind of funny. It's a nice uh, it's a nice dynamic with the fruit flies in here. There's like six of them now, and it's like I'll be saying something, and then and it like completely derails my train of thought. I mean, the worst, the worst for sure is when you're sleeping and you have fly like not fruit flies or like a it's mosquito that goes, and you're like, and you slap your head, and then you're up, and you're like, oh my god, I'm going to off someone right now. I, I, we used to have like a cricket. Oh, dude. I'm sorry. I keep doing this. Like where you hear like a cricket in your house for me, it'll, it would be like in the fireplace or something. Oh. So like you could never get to it and it would like echo and be like a lot more loud and project itself throughout. I remember having a cricket problem or just like there'd be like a cricket. And the like crickets you, in our mailbox here. Every time I open the mailbox, like 50 crickets, <laughs> but like I'd get up to try to find the cricket. But the second it hears you move, it just shuts up. It's like. Yeah, I and mean, then you stand there for like five minutes. It doesn't do anything. Go back to bed, and then it starts again. <sighs> it's like listening for a like a what is it? The fire alarm, like the smoke detector in, in a house. Which ones? Which ones out? Or just like listening to random creaks in the house that you think are like paranormal activity, and then you're just like lying there, and you're scared, and you're just mind Dude, is going. Oh my god! My neighbors have uh, kids, and our places are close enough together that when the kids are like bumping around or like running up the stairs, it sounds exactly like someone's running up my stairs. So before I realized that, I remember I was like laying in bed like 3 a.m. and mm-hmm. I just hear the exact sound of like someone running up my stairs. And I remember I was just like, it, like that was one of the most scared I've ever been in my Were life. Were like, hello? It was like, doo, 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 doo. and then it was like silent. But like it sounded ju- like it was literally my place. And I, I had a knife on my bed and I was laying there with it and I was like, <laughs> someone's in my house right you, now. You let, wait, you actually were holding a knife mm-hmm. like, yeah, and cold sweats. He was so scary. And Do you have I, a knife by your bedside mm-hmm. for? Okay, I have a big ass knife by my bedside. It's like this long, like the the blade, like nice. Markiplier. Dude, honestly, just sleeping with a knife by your bed, it can't hurt, you know, unless you, because that's asking for close hand to hand combat. You have to get close. What if they take the knife from you? They punch you in the oh, face and hidden. you drop the knife. I have it hidden. Well, hopefully you have the knife when you're already in a tussle. Oh, yeah. Well, I have it hidden, so if I ever heard someone, I can just grab it. I mean, yeah, the door would be probably closed. Unless they have a gun. Then, then you're 
just fucked. You could throw the knife at him. <laughs> you could, you could cut the gun up. in half right down the middle. <laughs> yes, you could clutch up if you threw the knife well enough. Like, that's such a risky move because. But I mean, like, then they have if it. he's shooting you, period. Like you're gonna die. Just, or you could deflect the bullets with the knife. Just give him one of these. <laughs> John Wick looking ass. You know. Like, ding, ding. Oh, just a quick. Yeah, just a little. The bullets go right by it. Oh yeah. yeah. You could probably easily survive a gunshot, or just like or two. <laughs> Add a I do air think. Resistance. I do think like depending where the where the where the the bullet would enter, I feel like you could hypothetically do more damage with a knife. Yeah. Well, because like a bullet goes in, you know, goes, and and you know. Relatively, depending on where it hits, you could survive. But but stab wounds, you know, depending on how deep you stab, yeah. Like if you, if you do enough damage, worse. they they can't get in there and fix all that. I it's a hard say, thing like, to fix. You get shot like lung, heart, obviously brain, neck. Actually, now I'm thinking about it. Most places you get shot, you're it's probably because thing. It's like oh leg, but it's like you have such big arteries in your leg. Get shot in the butt. Yeah, That's you get true. Shot the you're you're killing, yeah. Yeah, you're like, yep, licking some ice cream like Forrest Gump. It's just fat, you know. Just fucking. Like most of the legs, obviously, the balls and dick would kind of suck. It's survivable. I mean, survivable. you could bleed out. I mean, of your just dick. like a free vasectomy, perhaps. Okay. Maybe if they shoot the bullet just right, it just snips the vas deferens. And then, and, and then, fine. yeah, snips them, and then it the the the, the cauterizes. The, it cauterizes the exact same time <laughs> and ties it up. You know, free vasectomy, man. Free I don't vasectomy. have to go pay a bunch of money for it. Yeah, fuck that. I put the trap over here because the paper. Do you have the paper of vasectomy in America? Yeah. Are they? Do they just really? hand them out in what? Canada? <laughs> well, they, they, I mean, healthcare is just free. It's America, of course. You got to pay for everything medical. Oh, <laughs> that's terrible. I think vasectomies are probably a couple grand. Is, is birth control free out here? No. Really? Yeah, you no. got to pay for that shit. Dude, America sucks. Usually, you need <laughs> insurance too for for it to be like. Well, I know. I know you have to pay like a, a premium for like good insurance out here. Yeah, which is still super expensive. Because we have health insurance for super mega. You would assume and it's birth still control would be free. Not in America. <laughs> Land of the free. Home of the brave. Land of the AR-15. Home of kids in the grave. Christ. Jake Novak? You know Jake Novak. He's the guy that did the, I want to be the next I want SNL you a, cast I want you to do a song with him, honestly. Jake Novak. Fuck me, dude. Whoa, that would have been, dude, if we spit this on been, the carpet, that would have been I'll the, move it. the home of the fly. The Lord of the flies, dude. That would have sucked. That would have been awful. Have you like, seen Lord of the Flies? Obviously. I've, no, I've read the book, though. I had to read you've it for never school. seen the movie? I've read the book. I haven't done either. It's the one where the kids, like, eat each other or something. Yeah, they're, like, marooned on an island, and it's, like, their human nature comes out. And it's then such a good... I just remember there's that scene where the one kid gets his head caved in with a rock, <laughs> and, it, and it was, like, actually fucking Piggy, disturbing. Bro. Do Piggy. they actually eat each other in, in this? I don't think they eat each other. I don't think they other, eat each other, but, but they, like, appoint leaders, and there's, like, yeah, you okay. know, there's, like, a lot of fighting, and then there's this one kid that's, like, really sweet named Piggy. And he gets his head caved in with yeah, a rock? Yeah, like, he's, like, he's, like, the one that's trying to always, like, mediate and, like, calm everyone down and be nice. And then, like, so, like some other guy that's against him, like, goes up on a ledge and like throws a rock down and like smashes his head. And Jesus. Kills him. Yeah, I remember I was in sixth grade reading that, and I was like, "This is a crazy story." And then just yeah. I was like, because they like describe it like, and and oh, it's bad. Because ever was Lost? Yes, I fucking love Lost. Lost, dude. yeah, super super. I good. want Ryan to watch it really bad. You've never seen it? No, I just know that like one, it does. People have told me it gets convoluted, but it does. also it the get, it, yeah, it gets dude. There's like so by the like by the end, there's like seventy characters. <laughs> like I'm not kidding. Like I I have all the DVD box sets back home in Charleston because my parents and I watched it growing up. And each cover of the DVD is all the characters from that season, and it's like the most zoomed out fucking landscape shot of like seventy people each time. Yeah, for me, it's hard to like justify putting in the time to watch something that people have already told me that ends kind of like they don't like the ending or I like the ending. everyone oh. still watched Game of Thrones I liked the ending of Lost and they're watching House of Dragon now too I heard it I heard it's pretty good I, I'm enjoying it I think it's pretty corny compared to like the earlier seasons I mean, the early Game of Thrones was like a, a, a masterpiece well it was in line for being like one of the best TV shows next to Breaking Bad what happened they, I haven't seen it, but like, what? what the went writers wrong? supposedly got showrunners, right? Uh, no, I thought it was the writers. Which uh, of uh, of Game of Thrones got paid like a ton of money to do something else? Yeah, the the showrunners and I, they also did writing. Like, they're called D and D. It's like Dan and Dave, I think. They uh, they got a Star Wars deal 
but yeah. that and so they kind of rushed the last two seasons or the last season of Game of Thrones to get it out of the way. And then that fell through. And they wanted to make another show that was called Confederate that was about like what if slavery was still around? What if the sl- is the slave owners won the Civil War and slavery still existed? Isn't that interesting? People are like not no, really. That kind of sounds stupid and Isn't shitty. Isn't that like the man in the high castle? Yeah. Isn't that like if Germany won World War II or something? But I, but that since that idea already exists with yeah. the Nazis, like why do we have to like have? It was just weird for two Caucasian men to come up with an idea. Guys, like, what, what if, if what if slaves were still if? around? Guys, just what if? Jesus, think Christ, about it, man. Isn't that crazy? Can we still have Star Wars? But I feel we don't know why Disney kind of ceased production on their thing. I, I feel like they felt Star Wars was already getting kind of bad press, so to speak. I mean, that didn't, didn't a new one people. do super well? Which one? Uh, it wasn't The Mandalorian. It was like the next one. I know Mandalorian did super well. The, Bo- the Book of Boa Fett recently came out. I didn't watch that, the I show. That's, I think that's the one. That I, was like supposedly sick. I haven't watched it, so I can't say. Yeah, uh, but I didn't either. I I did like season one of The Mandalorian. I liked it. I like the simplicity of it. It's yeah. like it's it's not like that. There's any good acting. There's never been a, any good acting in Star Wars, but it's it has the the Star Wars punch where it's like special effects and it's like that world. Special effects, the camp, and they the fact that they're using a lot of. Uh, practical effects, and I know this has been talked to death, but the use of their, what is it, the projection screen that they yeah, use yeah, it's instead of cool. a green screen. What you working on over there? Trying to make sure they they get in there. I was making the holes a little bit bigger. You don't want to talk about Star Wars? <sighs> no, I do. Who's your favorite Star Wars? Which one? Who is my favorite Star yeah. Wars? Yeah, Chewie, bro. Uh, I Sk- Skywalker. Yes. I oh, yo, I met him recently. Skywalker? <coughs> Luke? Wait, which one? That was the most phlegm ever. Wait, you uh, met Mark Hamill? No. Or you met <coughs> Hayden Christensen? Hayden Christensen. Okay. Yeah, I met Hayden Christensen. I was at a... I did a... What's it called with Freddie Dredd? Um, and, oh, and yeah, you guys were family, on fucking uh, Family, family feud. feud. with Freddie Dredd and Young Gravy. Oh, shit. And we were staying in this hotel, and there was like a... It was a TIFF a few, film festival. Uh, Toronto International Film Festival and Gravy and I went up to like the patio up top and I was like, yo, this guy, this guy kind of looks like Anakin Skywalker. And we're like, yo, should we go up to him and ask? Because he was like, everyone was super dressed up, like wearing really nice clothing. This motherfucker was wearing like black runners, uh, black sweatpants and a black t-shirt. And everyone else was just fully dressed up to the T. And I was like, this guy gives no fucks. He's rich as hell. He has to be famous. This is that Star Wars money. And he is, he Star Wars money. We went out to him, nicest guy ever. Like, really? Such a chiller. Yeah, he used celebrities to, cool. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He was really, really cool guy. Like, we were just chatting and, and taking photos and stuff. And he's like, he's like, oh, I'll check your guys' music out, too. And, like, it was, it was dope. So She said you were his biggest fan for Jumper. Did you see that? Oh, movie Jumper is a good movie. Samuel Wait, Jackson. Wait, is that the one where they like jump through time? Yeah. yeah. That one did look sick. Wait, was that Rian Johnson? I, I don't know. Or is that Looper? Maybe that I'm might think- be Looper. No, wait, Looper is the fucking YouTube channel. Well, Looper is also the movie with uh Die Hard and um I'm thinking of Looper then, not Jumper. I'm sorry. I'm it, I'm No, I, I think it is Jumper the one I was just talking about. Which what wait, what is the one where like a guy like <laughs> teleports into a cornfield in the trailer? That's Looper. Okay, Looper. Okay, that's what, that's what I'm thinking of. I'm, Looper's I'm, more like sci-fi. Jumper's more like parkour action. Yeah, we're really going off of uh, the back of Hayden Christensen being Anakin, like trying to use that star power to like jump, not jumpstart anything, but jump who, start. Who, who else? There, a lot of these, there was a lot of bad fucking movies. I'm not saying Jumper was bad, but like There's Chris, a lot of bad movies, full stop. There was like this Chris <laughs> Evans was in this movie with Dakota Fanning where they had superpowers. I can't even remember the name of it. It was the, it was. Chris Evans is like. Captain America. Captain America, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I got, I got what was look. that movie with uh, Bradley Cooper and uh, Jennifer Lawrence where they're like on like a spaceship? 
What the fuck? Do you remember that, Ryan? Oh, Interstellar? No. Wait, wait, say that again? No! Oh, Passengers? Passengers, yeah. yeah. I, st- I didn't go see fire. that. It Interstellar is so fire. Yeah, Interstellar's yeah. Passengers like, was me. <laughs> I love Interstellar. I can always rewatch that movie. The soundtrack is unbelievable. Yeah, unbelievable. Well, it's, it was made by... Uh, Zimmer. Zim, Ban Zimmerman. Uh, it's not Zimmerman. It's a different person. What? Who? Who? Definitely not Zimmerman. Han, Zimmer, Hans Zimmerman. Hans Zimmer. Yeah, Bonds. Like, <laughs> do you know Bonds? who Zimmerman is? No. He 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 he's mostly known for um uh his Let's Play Channel One. Yeah. <laughs> uh, well, this is great discussion. He he was a a head of his homeowners association, and he took it upon himself to follow a young black teen through the neighborhood, and then proceed to gun him down. Trayvon Martin. Oh, no, I do not. Yes, yeah, so, and then, Zimmerman didn't do the score and then for afterwards sold the gun in a which, lot of money. Yep. He also did a painting. Uh he sold paintings. He also uh my favorite story about him was he was at a bar drunk bragging about how he killed Trayvon Martin and someone came up and knocked him out. So no correlation to Hans Zimmer. No, Hans Zimmer wasn't at a bar bragging about <laughs> killing Trayvon Martin. That was that was Han that no that was not that was George Zimmerman. Yes. Getting Hans my, Zimmerman. Hans Zimmerman. <laughs> what, what, this was like two years ago, right? Ish? No, this was like 2014. What the fuck? Yeah, Trayvon Martin. That was Dude, like 2014. 2013. I don't remember. We have the, I have the same birthday as Trayvon Martin. Everyone's yeah. always like, I share a birthday with uh, Leonardo DiCaprio. Donald Trump. Really? Mm-hmm. Yeah, Isn't that so awesome? Michael Phelps. Hey, look at us. Trayvon <laughs> Martin, Donald Trump, and Michael Phelps. And Nick Crompton from Team 10. Oh, okay. Those are the two people I share my birthday with, so... You know, I share my birthday with all the fruit flies in here. Every last goddamn one of them, they're still flying. Actually, around. Actually, they a... probably were all born today. To yeah. Be what is the lifespan of a fruit fly? It's, it's like, like a it's day. Like two, it's like two days. I'm gonna look up fruit fruit fly. Oh wait, I was gonna look up that Chris Evans Dakota. Because Chris Evans Dakota Fanning. It was called fruit fly horniness level. It was called push. Oh, this movie sucked. Yes, this movie sucked. Oh yeah. It came out, when did this fucking shit come out? 2009. Dude. Is this a uh, superpower movie? So many bad movies, man. Gotta love them. Gotta love Oh, I just watched this movie recently. It was like hot, all hot, wet American summer. Have you guys seen this movie? Was it the movie made before the show or whatever? (coughs) Wet, hot American summer? The one with like Paul Rudd and all them? Yeah. Oh, is it the newer movie? No, it's the old one. Okay. It's like the OG film. Yeah, yeah, Unbelievably funny. I've one never of, seen it. One of the best movies I have ever seen. Like, dude, unbelievable. Like, I, I, I did not know that there was, like, really, really funny movies back then. Is it satire on, like, American Pie or just any types of those, like, teen movies? <laughs> it's definitely very teen movie, but it's, like, the dumbest humor. It's, like, the driest, most ridiculous, like, like... They hold the camera shots and angles and like don't say anything type humor, like really stupid. A lot of that, improv, I'm guessing. Yeah, too, it's probably it all improv. Yeah. Hey, Steve YouTube's in it. Oh, really? Mm-hmm. Steve YouTube's in it? Mm-hmm. Does he show? Does he show the audience's wiener? <laughs> I don't think in this movie. <laughs> Do you remember? I, I, dude, I've seen the Smosh movie, movie, man. I, I remember yeah, it. We both watched it too. We, yeah. we saw it before uh, we watched it together. Didn't we have a double feature? It was like the Smosh movie and, then the and Shane, Shane Dawson. Dawson. Yeah. Shane it's Dawson's a, movie was fucking awful. Great. Oh. It <laughs> okay, yeah. did, they make real, did they make real movies or was it just like a YouTube movie? Uh, it was a YouTube movie. It wasn't in like theaters, right? Oh. Smosh movie wasn't in mm-hmm. theaters. Smosh well, movie's what, pretty good. What are Smosh doing now? Uh, still kicking it. Really? Well, Ian Ian does Smosh with like a cast, and Anthony has his own personal kind of his own personality channel where he. It's like I spend a day with goth people, and then he like interviews like school shooting survivors and stuff, and he's like, "What was that like?" Hmm. So I couldn't imagine being in that position, dude. I remember everyone looked like the Smosh Bros. I did, dude. Everyone had like the hair coming down with just, it was Justin Bieber Smosh Bros. They all had that hair. Like Bro. people loved Anthony's hair. Yeah. He, he does have good hair. Now. Ian has Super shaped up his short stuff. tea. <laughs> Look at this, dude. Oh no. This was uh I this was a huge fan of hey, Smosh Shane back in the day and I did the same thing, see? That's that's I, I, that was I was trying to do the Anthony Padilla hair right there. Yeah. That's you're talking to Shane Dawson about his dead grandma, right? Or his dying well, grandma. Well, he was vlogging his grandma's death. Uh <laughs> I'm not like he like films her in the hospital bed like on a life like on like a respirator and he's crying. He's like, I love you, grandma. And I'm like, at the time I was so touched by it, but looking back, I'm like, 
That's crazy. Bro turned his grandma on her deathbed into content. That's that's. Why don't we do that kind of content, man? My grandma well, died last year. I'm still waiting year. for my grandma to die, so I guess we can do it. I lost both my grandparents last year, and I easily could have gone home and fuck. I still have one left. I will. I will say, like, on my face. Why don't I'm you? I'm pretty happy with the with the divide of of where content is going now. It's way less personal, and I feel like I feel like content creators don't need to be as personal as they they had in the past. I I almost feel that I. I kind of feel the exact opposite where like it's still maintained on these like par- mostly parasocial relationships that people form, whether it's on one side where there's mainly streamers now that, people that who fall that. in love well, with streamers, streamers. Streamers are like, it's, it's very hard to not be yourself for nine plus hours. You know, it's like, at what point are you not going to have to endure like a parasocial relationship with that person if you're a huge fan of them? But it's like, I, I don't know. I, I think that like, Tapping into the real life of people, especially as like artists, like I don't want that sometimes. But unfortunately, with TikTok, you like have to be a real person on TikTok. Yeah, well, I mean, I guess it it's easier for that separation. I think if you just do music because you're releasing, you, like songs don't have to be personal. Yeah, you know, you can just rap about mommy milkers and shit. But like we do a podcast every week since like 2016, so we just have to talk about like our lives a lot, and then yeah. we get. Uh, all these little parasocial fucks, you know. We're not your friend, buddy. Just kidding. We're your friends. No, we need we're, we, more sales to go up. We uh, <laughs> we're very happy that uh, you decided to watch our videos and become big fans, and you enjoy our humor. Yeah, and we'll we'll come to all your weddings and birthday parties. Yeah, make just sure, invite us. Just keep inviting us to that stuff. Don't we stop. Actually, and we. I don't think we've. I don't know why I said I don't think. We definitely have never. I don't never... think we've gone to a fan's wedding. Have we? Can we? Can you remember if we went to like a fan's birthday party? Oh, there was the. No, never mind. Never mind. Never no, mind. it's a it's a fun gesture for sure to invite us to your graduation. Uh, but uh, I hate to break it to you, but we're not flying to like Iowa to go to your high school graduation. Yeah, any, anywhere. Uh, unfortunately, but Iowa. they're hoping. What if they just did it for a bit and they made a vlog out of it? And this we're is not the one doing time that for a bit. It. What if they blew up because of the vlog of them bringing you to their wedding or something? Think about think about the benefit that you guys could be providing to them. What do we get out of that? <laughs> a, uh, having wedding cake. sales, wedding cake, having a great time at a wedding, get, getting to see merch, love prosper, sales, Patreon, seeing merch prosper, <laughs> seeing love prosper. You know, that's the big. That's one. the big. That's one. what you have to care about because we we need to start caring about love a lot more. You know, that's something that's kind of lost on this generation is love. Everyone's so look, they're glued. To their where phones. is the love? Well, where the love is over, Ow. it's o- over analyzed now. I feel like. Everyone, everyone, people, people like my mom was saying recently, she was like, why does everyone say I love you? And I'm like, why does it matter? And uh, I think it's just it's passed out too often. You know, it's like I think back. I, well, I don't think like back in like the 60s and 70s, bros were just like, I love you like all the time. Because like, I it, love you. I love you. Because you know? it was seen as uh, not manly. Right. You say I love you to your wife or and your kids. And that's it. And maybe God, your dog. God. God too. I used to say that when I'd pray. I'd say I love you. I love you, God. I yeah. I mean, I definitely think it's progressive that everyone says I love you, but like I love you. It it means way less now. You know what I mean? Yeah. Well, it doesn't have to. I love you. I love you. I love you guys. I love you too. Because uh, we I love ad you. break. I love you. Yeah, I actually got a. This is the, this is the lube break. Okay. <laughs> okay. I love you guys. Hope you're not I joking. You. I love um, you too. You're not just saying that though. No, you wouldn't. Okay. You wouldn't just be one of those guys. you saying that to like get what, a, you wouldn't be one of those rappers that just says "I love you" and so that you can generate it. a response out of us, whether that be physically sexual or or not, it's, emotional. Yeah, emo- I mean, spiritual I maybe. You know why? Because I love you guys. Okay, I love you too. I love you too, man. I love you. I love you. I'm keeping a mental note of this. And uh, sure. we uh, love your support. I love you guys. Mm. I think I, I might love. I might love them. A little bit more than you guys. I don't want to commit to loving strangers. Who knows what these sick fucks have been doing? That's true. You might love someone and find out they're a bad person. Yeah. So, but I had this weird conversation with someone, uh, an Uber driver, and he was like, there are no bad people. It's just people don't give a fuck about you. But no one is intentionally trying to be a bad person. I, I School shooters? Like... But the thing is, is uh, yes, road rage they're, people they're, who run people off roads. They're fucked up, hundred percent. But they're not bad in their minds. They're not a bad person. School shooters aren't bad people. 
right. We'll talk more about right, this. Yeah, we're going to uh, go to ad breaks. We'll talk more about <laughs> this. All right, be right back. It's never too early to play holiday music, and it's never too early to start thinking about gifts. Whether it's for a friend or the friends in your pants, you know I'm talking about, your penis and balls, you can make this season real jolly with Manscaped. Do your little drummer boy a favor and use the lawnmower 4.0 to avoid another silent night in the bedroom. Then add in Manscaped's top-of-the-line shower products to have the people thinking, all I want for Christmas is you. You know what I'm saying? Santa cares about his sack, and so should you. Look nice when you get naughty and get free shipping and 20% off by going to manscaped.com slash supermega. I use Manscaped. Ryan used Manscaped. We are absolutely clean right now. And when I say clean, I mean that in two ways. I mean clean shaven, and I mean clean with those shower products, because our nuts smell fantastic. Mm-hmm. The Manscaped Platinum Package 4.0 is the one-stop shop for the man who deserves it all. It has everything needed to help you deck the halls from face to balls just in time for mistletoe season. The Platinum Package has each product from the best-selling performance package, plus ultra-premium body wash, ultra-premium two-in-one shampoo conditioner, and ultra-premium deodorant. It's the best way to smell fresh from your Santa hat to your candy cane. And the Lawnmower 4.0 Body Trimmer and Weed Whacker Nose and Ear Hair Trimmer feature proprietary advanced skin safe technology to protect your delicate presence. Plus, both are waterproof, so there's no issue clearing the snow out of your driveway. Did I mention there's a 4000K LED light on it so you can light the way like Rudolph? So now that you've groomed your candy cane, it's time to make sure you don't smell like a reindeer with the Platinum Package's shower product. All the Manscaped shower gear is sulfate-free, vegan, and made to have your skin feeling hydrated and smelling fresh. But smelling doesn't stop at the shower. The Crop Preserver Ball Deodorant and Crop Reviver Ball Toner can solve stank problems all day long. Once they touch your sack, they'll never go back. The Platinum Package 4.0 sitting under the tree is guaranteed to put anyone in the holiday spirit. And for the perfect stocking stuffer, add in the brand new Body Buffer, an incredible body scrubber that makes exfoliating easy and a lot cleaner than that old loofah. Get 20% off and free shipping at manscaped.com slash supermega. That's 20% off with free shipping at manscaped.com slash supermega. Manscaped, get your jingle balls ready for the holidays. <laughs> What's the first thing you do when you wake up? Is it checking up on your credit score? Didn't think so. At Chime, that's exactly what they do. With their secured Chime Credit Builder Visa credit card, you can start to build credit with your own money. Chime reports your payments to credit bureaus to help you build credit over time. Their members see an increase of 30 points on average. All of this with no annual fees, large security deposits, or credit checks to apply. And I can say firsthand that the Chime Credit Builder Visa credit card has helped me a ton. I, my, my credit score was just so darn bad. And now, it's getting better. <laughs> I'm so proud of you, Ryan. You made that credit score go from to yippee. <laughs> Thanks, man. So start your credit journey with Chime. Sign up takes only two minutes and doesn't affect your credit score. Get started at Chime.com slash super. That's Chime.com slash super. The Chime Credit Builder Visa Credit Card is issued by Stride Bank North America pursuant to a license from Visa USA Chime Checking Account and $200 qualifying direct deposit required to apply for the secured Chime Credit Builder Visa Credit Card. Regular on-time payment history can have a positive impact on your credit score. Impact of score may vary, and some users' scores may not improve. Out-of-network ATM withdrawal fees may apply, except at money pass ATMs in a 7-Eleven or any AllPoint or Visa Plus Alliance ATM. Bro, yeah. welcome back from another... There you go. M Matt's trying to flip a bottle. And nope. I think it's too full. You know, there's too much weight. Dude, my fans found my uh, country alias. Your Did country they? Country alias? Yeah, country star four twenty. Kid Rock. It's, uh, you make country music? I was almost it. Uh, yeah, I made right in the heat of COVID. I was losing my mind, and I just I made music under the alias of Country Star four twenty, and I got like Cody Co on a song. One more. This is it right now. Oh, the bottom's a little. No. Nope. Yeah, I. Luke, can you freeze frame it? For the rest of the podcast, right there. So I, I did it. Just like Matt's side. Just like, like, just like Luke. Just cut out like the square of it. <laughs> yeah, yeah, it's still there. Um, yeah, but that was a nice break. I was hoping when we came back, we would have caught some of the fruit flies in this trap. But it looks like not one. Literally nothing. No takers. They just fly out of here. They wouldn't be attracted to the look. There is a way more, a higher densely populated fruit fly situation in here now. What the fuck? Bringing the trap in here might have just been the wrong move because now they're usually like, you leave it like overnight. Or yeah, something. there's there's earlier I saw four at once in my vision while I was talking to you guys. <laughs> it's like fruit flies are like if like eye floaters like were real things, you know? It's like if they eye floater. Do you not ever get those? I personally have never gotten one. What? Yeah. Are you serious? Yeah.
I have like seven at all time. Wait, like when you close your eyes, like the white dots? No, no, no. Like in your vision, just like little like squiggly black and white like blobs and dots that just float around when you move your eyes. Like a whoop, whoop. You don't get those? There's a whole family guy gag about it. No. I get them. I get like, I all at 24 7, I have them. It sucks. You, Re- you've never had one, right? Wait, what are they called again? Look up eye floaters. Shout out to the fans that have really bad eye floaters because that shit, it's so goddamn annoying, especially when I'm trying to sleep sometimes. I shut my eyes and I see them and I try to just not, like, I try to ignore it, but then they'll slowly start moving, which makes me, like, shift my eyes to look at it and then it moves it and then I just can't fucking make them stop. So, okay. if Is it like, you know when you get the spins, you see, like, like l- little, like, shiny things? Yeah, it's not like that. It looks like this, these. That's like after I looked at something bright. Maybe. No, they're different. Uh, I floated, like, what you're talking about, I think it's called, like, p- p- it starts with a P, but it's like, if I look at something bright and shut my eyes or look away, I could see it for, like, a good minute. Yeah, I don't see any floaters, at least right now. And I, I've never really Do you have any them. visual disturbances ever? No. <sighs> Jealous, man. Hey, you know, the, Dude, that's I've, uh, my I got, mom or dad. Which is it when you, like, everyone. blink or anything? No, they're they're just like they're think they're they're there. It's different from like the static you see normally or do you see static normally? No, not really. Do you ever see like flickering white lights just like only if I'm like if I have the spins and I'm like wasted. You know like if you stand up too fast and it's like the little like woo. Yeah. Like very lightly, but I feel like I get that the most when I have when I'm too drunk. When Substances I'm- make visual disturbances a lot worse. I have horrible visual disturbances mm-hmm. like 24/7. Crazy. I, well, I mean, like obviously, like, substances and, like hallucinogens are like. Well, that's what it's, that's what it's from. But I do a fair amount of those. And don't do acid, kids. Definitely Actually, stick that, with shrooms. Acid's pretty cool. <laughs> acid's the greatest. As, acid's pretty cool. But, it's weird but, because pound it for that one. I believe that you know how like weed is deemed like you know like smoke weed like just like seeing stuff everything's giggly giggly this giggly giggly that it's not the truth that is just acid. Yeah. That, like, 100%. honestly, acid is undeniably the best drug, and I feel like there's a really weird stigma about it, and it's like... I would agree with you on that. <clears throat> well, there's a lot of, like, not health, like, serious health complications, but there's a lot of long-term effects that it can, like... Make better. Well, make worse. M- if you th- do too much, you're, you're definitely fucking yourself. I have a lifelong condition from doing acid at 22. A visual really? lifelong condition. I have hallucinogenic persistent perception disorder. The only other person I know that has it is Andrew from Channel 5. That sounds kind of he, dope. He, he what, just, he what just wants to sound different. What happens? Just go it's along not, with it. It's not even a real thing. Just, just it's it's not a real thing. thing. Just oh, pretend okay. like it is. No, it's my, my vision is like, part of it is uh, all the floaters, but it's like 24-7. Everything has like kind of colored textures and and just like a lot of static and, and, and light trails and fucking like after images of things when I blink. And uh, it's really fucking annoying. Sounds annoying, but sounds like kind of sick. It's not kind of sick. It's 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 real. It's a medical condition, dude. And when it's, you it's when really you, disappointing it's that you would just when you see uh, like a light, you have a glow around you, like a negative afterglow around you. Huh. And if I shut my eyes, I can still see your face for a few seconds. I mean, I yeah, I have that. I have that. When I open my eyes up wide and take as much light as I possibly can, and I close my eyes, like I can still see you, like a like a silhouette. For me, it's just really vivid and lasts. I'm gonna try longer. to do that. I want to see a silhouette. See how wide my mm-hmm. eyes are? They're big. How much, how much acid did you do? Uh, I mean, I did, like, when I was, like, 22, I, I mean, it wasn't even that much. It's just, like, it. it's, like, 5% of people or something, and it's, it's, it's you would take higher doses than me. I think I always stuck to, like, one tab. I take, like, two like tabs, two. and then it would also, it's also, like, genetic, it's not very well understood, it's not very studied, but it's, like, genetic plays, yeah, a, predisposition plays a role stuff. into yeah. it, so. But, yeah, it's just, like, I remember after doing it, I woke up one day, and I was, like, huh. Why do things still look a little funky? I mean, it just never went away. But uh, apparently, like, if you quit, like, all psychoactive substances, like caffeine, nicotine, alcohol, like, anything, like, after a couple, and, like, a lot of vitamins, like, if you take a lot of vitamins, apparently after, like, a couple months to a year, it can get better. Hmm. But it's 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 really, it's just more annoying than anything. It's not like yeah. it, like, massively affects my daily life, but it's, it's, it's just frustrating. Yeah, have you done it since or no? Acid? Yeah. It's been a couple years. Nice. I, I, I'm too, I'm, I kind of just like too scared to do. What about shrooms? I have done 
shrooms in the last few months. I think shrooms are perfectly. They fe- it just feels like acid to me. Well, honestly, because like I do it at a low acid. dose, anyways. I like as acid because it's intense. As long as you do it low dose, like it's fine. I I had a really good friend of mine that like did it way too much, and it did not help. No, but, okay. If you have like underlying or I mean, if, if you, you have do, underlying mental health issues or just severe mental health issues like bipolar, schizophrenia, yeah. or like a family history of that stuff, even if you don't have it, psychedelics are not a very good idea. You can bring out stuff like schizophrenia with like acid and stuff. Dude, I remember when I would smoke so much weed, I, I had to give it up because I would just, one, get too anxious, and two, I would start literally hearing things. Mm-hmm. And I was like, this is not it, for sure. That's I've part never of, had that. That would freak me the fuck out. I, yeah, dude, I, I have would, that with the HPPD shit. I, I hear stuff all the time. But it's not like, it's not like it's like, Voice is like Matt, but it'll just like sound like someone's talking in the other room for a second, or like uh, mainly when I'm like sleepy. It's like, mm-hmm. has it ever tricked you into feeling like there's something paranormal? Oh, there's something. When I was when on? I was smoking weed, I would watch paranormal activity stuff all the time because I would be like, there's definitely it would, that would make you power. more paranoid, huh? Well, no, well, not like necessarily paranoid activity. I would I would watch I would about. watch like the the stuff sober because I would be like so convinced high that it would be. But honestly, weed, weed used to be nice when it wasn't high powered, when you could, you know, sit there with a bunch of friends and smoke a bunch and be, just be hungry. I don't remember the last time I smoked weed and it didn't like debilitate. Me. Is it Dude. the Cal- is it like the difference in like California weed to like South? Yeah. Carolina so like the shit or? that's the shit that's like, uh, like uh, regulated that they sell in the shops is apparently like just they make it insanely potent. Even like the lower dose stuff. Because they don't my want mom you to told me buy she, a ton. They want you to just like actually use it like medicinally almost. My mom told me that my mom um, was like the stuff that like they sell legally mm-hmm. now is like completely different from like what she had as a teenager or, or, or young adult. She's like, it's like not even the same drug. It's like just a completely different. I do remember when I used to do like when I smoked weed back in South Carolina the vibe was more of like, I'm chilling with my friends, eating a lot. Oh, we're getting like excited about ideas and we laugh a shit ton, like get the giggles. Yeah. And and like a lot a lot more now, it's to help calm me down, to help me get to bed. I feel more lazy when I when I smoke. I feel, it's not that, is it an age thing you think? Or do you, do you think it really is like a difference in terms of like the strength of the weed? I think, I think, I think California yeah. weed's just really potent I think potent it's genetically too. modified. I mean like what they probably did is. is like, they were like, okay, like this cannabinoid, this specific chemical, we need to increase that somehow because that is the, the anti-anxiety property. So I think they just like, like you know, monoed out the 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 certain things that are the, the benefits from from all of these drugs. It's a multi billion dollar industry now. Yeah, so they have all these like scientists trying to like grow it to make it like the like different strains like the yeah. most. Because now you now you have like chemical engineers and botanists like fucking with it instead of just like some dude growing it in his closet. Dude, yeah, I remember smoking the Reggie in like grade eleven, and all it would be would just be like the boys would hit the pipe once or twice. And we just start giggling about dumb shit, and then just eat like mac and cheese. <laughs> we, I, and, like, that I was just it. get blasted. I mean, I still do that, but like, I still get giggly. But I'm just more like, just goofed. Yeah. I mean, also, when someone says pipe, like, I never hear that used for like weed. Pipe exclusively sounds like crack or meth. Smoking so the pipe. We just we just hit really? the pipe. The crack. Wait, you've pipe. never had like a you never had like a normal ass like weed pipe. You, we we like made a bowl. A, yeah. You you smoked out of pipe. I did out of smoke a out of an actual like pipe once. Nah, that was pretty cool. Like a Gandalf pipe. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That shit was sick. I remember I found a. I was at a music festival. I found like a Gandalf pipe with a baggie of like uh, tobacco, and I was just like walking around, and it went like meow. And I was Shit's just like, fun. yeah, it was just, just puffing away. I was just puffing away, and they were like, everyone was like, nice pipe, and I was like super high. On a bunch we should of get into something. opium together. We should get like those long opium pipes and just chip. This is a great opium din. Honestly, the lights like, like the, the fruit curtains. flies. Yeah, yeah. You turn off some lights, get more dim. tea. Have Fucking this flicker a little more. <laughs> sit on the carpet with my like five foot pipe and just like, hey Ryan, can you light me up real quick? <laughs> smuggle a opium. What do you guys think of ayahuasca? You ever uh, do it? It's kind of never. S- I've never done it. Scared you me. ever? I, I don't know because like that's a psychedelic that, from what I've heard, you do it and you like cry and vomit and like. Yeah. Apparently, yeah, it's like you astral plane. Apparently it's like super healing and therapeutic, but the crying and vomiting like DMT at all? Kind of. The crying and vomiting does not sound very fun to me. Have you done it? I know. I'm I was contemplating doing it like in the next like two years or something. Because like the one the other like the psychedelic I would try would be DMT, but I don't I don't want to do all I heard I heard DMT is chill. 
Last like 10 minutes. I'd be freaked out Speak if there's another interdimensional being just kind of chilling around. I know it's all my brain kind of making me see it, but still, like, yeah. if it's visually real to me, like in a dream, you're still scared in your dream. Well, your your perception is the only thing that's real. So if you're perceiving something in the moment, it's real to you. you yes. Know? Even if, like, you're like, oh, this isn't actually there, your only perspective is your perspective. So it's like... Yeah. In my universe, yeah, there is an interdimensional being waving me along. Or in Chad's case, uh, from Cold Ones, he has this tall like, man with a hat. Yep, a ten foot tall man with a hat that would just like kind like of protect him and watch over him and make sure he's doing all right. Like a black man that would just stand in the corner of the room and watch over. Him. Like a silhouetted man. I don't think oh, it was cool. a black. No, yeah, sorry, that's what I mean. Like, like he was like black, like a black. Doing drugs is not a federal crime. Selling it, getting and caught with them is getting caught with them. Okay. You're not getting caught. Well, I think possession's a federal crime. I remember in South Carolina of a certain amount. I remember in South Carolina, my friend would always be like, Now it's not illegal to be high. It's just to like have weed, like possession of weed. Yeah. Like if you get caught and you're high, like in South Carolina, there's really no way that they're gonna prove that you're high. So they have to catch you with like a pipe or something. And that's usually when they do a power trip and smash it on the street or something. I mean, yeah, before before marijuana was legal, there was this time I I was like hotboxing my homies whip and we were so high, like this was like homies going away and party, like wasn't gonna see him for the next like four years. Like everyone was fried. And then we started hearing some screams, and this this woman was getting chased by this roid head down the street at like 3 30 in the morning. And I was like, oh my God, we need to save this woman. Like this woman is gonna there will be complications. And then we start we start like trying to intervene. And then she's like, leave me the fuck alone. I was like, we are trying to help you. Long story short, we ended up getting, like, he he went away and then got in his truck and, like, chased us down in his truck. We were going to get killed. We were so cooked. It, I've never been more high in my life. And uh, the, we had to talk to the cops afterwards, and the cops were like, how fucking high are you guys right now? And I was like, man, I'm, I'm so high. I'm, like, the most faded I've ever been in my life, and I can't believe this happened. He's like, he's like, you guys are totally fine. You can be high. But, like... I'm sorry that this happened when you guys were high and you guys tried to intervene and be good citizens. And I was just like, it's just interesting that like, yeah, like you're saying, like you, a you, cop, you just can, being like, you can be high. You can be high. I mean, especially now, like everyone in, dude, everyone in Canada just smokes weed all the time. Is it legal? Yeah, it's completely legal. Do you smell it all the time? All the time, yeah. But I remember when I first visited California for the very first yep. time, I remember I was walking down the sidewalk with you and Daniel and you guys were just smoking a joint and I was so scared. And I remember like, I'm like, they're like a cop car drives by and I'm like, holy shit, you can just smoke, you can just smoke weed. Cop, cops would still like before, I think it became Recreation. recreationally legal. When like did you move here? 2015. Oh. Yeah. I'm, we moved here just months apart. It was yeah. medicinal at the time. But now since it's recreational, but even before it was recreational, I remember smoking some weed in the alleyway and a cop car came by and was like, well, you know, you're not allowed to smoke that. I'm like, I have like the car. He's like. Oh, yeah? Where is it? I'm like, because I just went out to go smoke yeah. in the alley. I'm like, it's up in my apartment. What apartment number are you? I'm like, does it matter? But, of course, I didn't say that. I'm like, um. Are you allowed to ask that? By the way, probably not, but, you know, they're cops, and I'm just some kid sitting on the this side. This is what it is. It's this. They're all going to this. There's three right now under my head. So they were going into that shit. Take them out and put them, put them next to Jim. I just got three, though. I'm going to take them and put them next to Jim. Kill them. What we could do one day is just trade trade debit cards, go out on a spending spree, each of us for ourselves, and then both call the bank and be like, someone stole my card, cancel it. We get to keep all the shit and get the money back. Kind of. I remember I Did was, uh, n no, but I was in, I was uh, in Toronto. more crimes on our podcast? Exactly. I was in Toronto, and I got so, this was the last time I was drunk this year, and this is probably why I'm also, I haven't drank, but I got card swapped. And some guy spent seventeen thousand fucking dollars at Seven Eleven. What? Seventeen? How? Th I have no fucking I idea. You'd have and to buy everything in the goddamn store for it to total. A lot. A lot of it was like I think gift a lot of it was like stuff? gift cards, Easy and a lot cards. of it was like other shit. But like that dude made the seventeen thousand dollars because I I called my bank. I was like, look, like I don't know how he had my pin, but he got my pin. So he, when I was drunk, I must have like it must have been a guy from the from the hotel. Well. The the card skimmers. I I got scammed with that too. Like I guess at a gas station. Gas station. Even Seven Elevens will have them on there. Yeah. Machines. So like you you swipe your card and it actually has a or little ATMs. like secret thing that it looks like huh. a, every time I go. That's to, why I tug on. I do every time I go to like one of those things. I check to make sure it's real. But or like it's it, always real for me. I want to catch one. I want to yank. Go it to a gas like, station <gasps> when you go to buy gas. Check the fucking thing because people buy on the deep web. 
the exact like outside with the card reader and it just they just put it perfectly over it and it wow. still works but it will take all your card info including like i think like your pin and everything so someone did that and one day i checked my bank account and some guy in long beach for like the last week had been going to different gas stations every day and getting like hundred dollar visa gift cards over and over and over again but still the employee at the 7-eleven i feel like you there was you would have assumed but it, it was weird because i woke up with some other guy's credit card I like I, I I completely blacked out that this time I was doing like uh, the can can dance with Arcade Fire and like this massive artist from Quebec named Charlotte Cardin. I like I don't remember anything. So I, you're just like what who who knows what the fuck happened? Who knows what the ha- Maybe hell? Maybe Arcade happened. Fire took your card. Maybe you spent some of his someone else's money on that credit card that you had. I or maybe he him. was blackout drunk, <laughs> spent seventeen thousand dollars himself. But they, but they had the pin because they entered the pin. How else would they have the pin unless you were the one that did it, maybe? Dude, I was not that lit. You ever accidentally spend 17 I was racks not, at 7-11? I was, I, was, I was at some girl's house when the purchases were made. So I know that I was okay. fine. You were busy. I was definitely busy. But Yeah, he was. It was it was crazy, man. It was like I've never experienced anything like that. And I had to like call the I had to call the police station because my pin was used. I had to it was so shitty. So what was it? It, it was resolved. It was resolved, but it took like three weeks for me like calling. But he made it out with this. Like, yeah, he made it out. That's what I'm made saying, Ryan. That's what I'm saying. We do this. We up. We card swap each other. <laughs> card swap each other. Oops. Not knowing. Oopsie daisy. Okay. Go out and do a little spending Get spree. a bag, baby. You know? How much can one of those little things cost? You just, you know, the card skimmer. We can go on the deep web and take a look. Like, if you pay, even if it's a few hundred dollars, you get that back. I will say- with a few gas purchases. Some gas stations and convenience stores, like, the people that own it and work there are the ones that are doing the scam. That's the there's that's this, how it's there. There was this video on TikTok of this person I saw, and showing a skimmer the, on 7-Eleven. He's like, they, like, filmed the guy mm-hmm. there. Uh, that's sick. Which does kind of suck because that employee might have had nothing to do with it. It might have been, like, the owners or something, and that guy's just working his shift and then fucking gets all that shit on TikTok. Or he could have been a fucking criminal. But, yeah, the skimmer shit's freaky. I always check. No, it's like I always jiggle on it a little bit. Hmm. Yeah, no, but the one at 7-Eleven is like, you know, like the little pin pad? Yeah. It was the exact, like, outer shell of it, and the dude just, like, lifted it up and it had the real one underneath. You have but to like, lift it up a little bit. You just, just, you, just, you, you just click it on, and it looks the exact same. Like a bionicle part. But the thing is, if it's there at 7-Eleven in the store, like, on the at the counter, it's got to be the people that, yes. like, own it or work there. No one's like, sneaking. No one's going to be like, you know. It's so... Because I, th- I think you've got to come back for it, too. Such an easy know. finesse. You do. Yeah, so. Yeah, no, I it happened to me you once. You guys should make super mega... Skimmers? Skimmers. That'd be far. Think about it this way. It's it's your fans doing the dirty work. It just comes back to that. We or have it all goes to us. To go to our it's like, dude, it's like some uh, pyra- pyramid scheme shit. What if, uh, <laughs> what if we do like a whole skimmer thing? We have people set them up. But what if we sold skimmers? Without telling people that it goes back to us. Well, now, th- now they would know, unfortunately. Just no, we're just up. making a joke on the podcast. Yeah, this is just a goof. <clears throat> this can't be used legally because this whole this whole podcast. We're, this whole we're podcast is is manufactured. You by can admit to any Drake crime AI. on this podcast. Exactly. You know, you have any more crimes? No, I've I've kept a pretty clean slate my whole life. To we be accidentally killed a homeless guy in like 2018, but that, just kidding. All right, guys. Well, th- uh, Alex, thank you so much for coming on. I mean, you're you you got a new album coming out, or yeah. by the time this comes out, it's already out. Yeah. When well, is this going to come out? Probably like two, three weeks. Nice. So why don't you why don't you tell the nice people about your about your your little music thing? Music's cool. I make music, and I had an album drop probably about two weeks ago. Um, Have you guys heard that song? It's like. Or or the one that's like. Balls hanging low, the puppet ball mm-hmm. off of your chain swinging, clang, 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 and it costs a lot. I, yeah. All bangers. With Rich Brian? You had, yeah. you had a Minecraft concert, too. Yeah, and I got really drunk. That was fun. It was fun. I was dancing up in the rafters. Yeah, it was sick. We were all having a great time. That was oh, a was that time. on Epic S&P? Yeah. Oh, was Epic it the Epic S&P? S&P? I, I did like a... I guess I got broke, drunk both of them. Fuck. I, I wasn't even there for... There, there was a... a you Minecraft concert, concert Minecraft on my own club. server, and you didn't even fucking yeah, like the, the 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 Minx is Minecraft Circle. That shit was lit. <laughs> yep, <laughs> it was a good time. 
What happened to the Epic S and P? It's a yearly thing now. It's is a it a thing? yearly thing? I think so. Are, is it's it going to come back? I saw. Wait. I saw the tweet. I saw the tweet. Where it was just well, like, it's been. We did it once. Was it in twenty twenty? Was it this twenty twenty one? Yeah. And then uh, it fell off because it's hard to keep a Minecraft. Was Epic S and P? It wasn't this year. It's twenty twenty one. It was this year. Yeah. Did we do it this year? Uh huh. When this year? Like like January, January February. Fuck. Yeah, it was it was January. I, I was fell in, off I was this time because I was really getting back into streaming, and then some stuff came up in our lives, and we just both stopped streaming. Yeah, but it's weird. Uh, I I think that I think that what we're talking about is just making Epic S and P like a yearly thing at the beginning of each year, yeah. and then it goes until it simmers out. Get you're more than welcome to come back. I'm always down. I love me some Minecraft. It's, it's always Dude, it's it's fun. So fucking it's just good. getting everyone it's such in a there. Relaxing game. I will be honest. Also, I like doing it yearly because then. It always changes. Like, new stuff is built. Like, people get excited. Like, well, what are they going to build this time on? Have you even talked about what, if it is coming back next year? We haven't not officially just, me, me and the, uh, me and the legal team for Epic S&P and the, yeah. uh, the, 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 the uh, board of chairmen haven't discussed it yet. But, uh, yeah, we're going to probably, I'm assuming. I mean, Trevor, Trevor runs it now. Yeah. Modest Cube. So, it's up to him. I would like to do it every year. I think it's a fun-ass thing to do every I mean, it's year. A, Trevor has to do a lot to get that shit set up. And I think he's trying to work on his own like projects you know, and stuff more right now. Oh, true. Yeah, true. Epic S and P. The first one popped off. <clears throat> it did. So did the second one. Yeah, I, I mean, mean, people love Epic S and P. It's fun as hell. Yeah. I, I would love to. Dude, I, dude, I would like. I. It's I a was... fun group of people too, because usually, like Minecraft servers, it's all people from like one circle. But Epic S and P is like a lot of different people, and, yeah. and I want to do that every year. Just get a bunch of different people every year, and. It's fun. It's really fun. I love doing it, and I, I, I would like to do it yearly, like every like January maybe. It lasts for however long, like a month or two at I most. I mean, however long people want to keep it going for that year. Or however long Swagger keeps building. That's much. that's because <laughs> like two all days the he he makes the whole server lag, which which you know he he's very talented. He knows what he's doing when it comes to Minecraft, bro. But we, we started up this year. He like already had all this shit like memorized and ready to go. And like by the end of the first day, I have like the grass top of my house, and he's like got like a fucking like a machine, windmill. like harvesting yeah, all the ores within like a three mile radius. He's so good at it. It's crazy. Yeah, he's great, man. Yeah. But yeah, you have an album out. What's it called? Bag or die. The cover's really sick. Yeah, it's not bad. You're skydiving. I'm uh, yeah, I'm happy. I'm I'm more excited to work on the next music. I like I I yesterday I made like a ballad song. Really? Yeah. So I'm gonna tap into that world, and then I want to make a drum and bass project, like I'll a full you. like UK drum and bass project. What's the ballad one like? <clears throat> Are you rapping on, or is it straight up just like no, singing? singing? Yeah, it's like falsetto and stuff. Dude, nice. Yeah, I'm excited to hear that. It's it's like it's funny because, you know, I I I have a line that I wrote. <clears throat> it's like, it's like feminist I'm, women love Eminem. Yeah, exactly. No, but it's like it's like I'm frustrated that I still put twice the amount of coffee grounds in our coffee and it's like it's the dumbest shit ever but it's so sad and and it's like i i don't know i feel like writing like sad lyrics and like emotional lyricism is like easy it's I very easy it, I, I i don't know why it, it i think writing meme rap and then like dude, sad, sad boy music it might be the two easiest genres to write and do i think i think really really like like for instance young gravy I love his music. I think it's actually like genius. Like some of the lyrics he comes up with, are fucking so are good. stupid. Like, and you have to be a comedian to get it. Whereas like, like normal like rapping, I would say like lyrical spiritual miracle stuff is like that. I I think that's the easiest. Rhymezone dot com. That's not. I think I think meme rap is actually really difficult because you have to. be, It's just like full blown comedian. Oh yeah, that's true. I guess like, regular rap is easier. But like s sad stuff is like. I'm sad. It's not. My day's bad. Exactly. I cried and I. Have you ever made a? Have you made like super sad mad. song? Yeah. Dude, it's sick. A lot of your songs are sad. Well, I have I have some really sad ones on this on this album coming out, which should be out by now. And then I have some real funky ones and some fun ones. I have a whole mishmash of shit on it. Yeah. Got like a hyper pop one with Patsu, and I have nice. a bunch of, bunch of fun shit. Yeah. Well, I guess every every type every song is actually sad because they don't blow up. Yeah. It sucks. Dude. He's talking about your music. His music. Yeah. His music yeah. blows My up. My music doesn't blow up, dude. <laughs> what? Then shut up, dude. You can't I've, come I've here. Had like, just, I've had like two. Your songs. music doesn't blow. You've up. had like two. No, you like pretty much almost every release gets like really okay. It may not get up to the views that you want it to, but it still does better than like dude. You have even most big artists right now. You have eleven point four monthly listener 
11.4 million monthly listeners on Spotify. 11.4. <laughs> Dude, that's a lot. That, I mean, your top maybe track it's because of our perspective. Your that's top track is almost a billion streams. No, okay, that's an anomaly. That one was an anomaly. Okay, but then like, the next one, Edamame, 288 million, and then Welcome to Chili's uh, with Young Gravy, 112 million, and then uh, Help Herself, 69 million. Say La Vie, the one you just dropped with with Brian and Gravy, almost at 10. Well, okay, sure, they do fine, but fine. <laughs> It's I don't know. It's all it's all relative. It's if, like, if, yeah. if that's fine by your standards, how is your music doing? Horrible. God, <laughs> fucking horrible. Well, I think that the main issue is uh, I was never really. My top songs at like five million. Do that, and that's good. Genuinely, it is. Oh, uh, almost a billion. I mean, the five. thing is, is so I went cool. through. I went through, not being emotionally prepared to have a hit. Like an actual like dude, La 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 is bigger than some Drake records. Like yeah, the most people in the world know that song. Like in in the age range of like let's say eight to thirty, most of most people, and it's like at coming back after that, dude. That shit was just like demoralizing. Everything I oh up, yeah, like I mean it, it fucking sucked. The, like, like one it, hit wonder type yeah, feeling. Yeah, dude, it it, it it definitely. Oh, because then all the numbers will never compare. Never, it will never ever compare unless I have another hit. But. That's why I like we've always had a steady slow growth. Never blew very up. very slow. Well, we. I guess we never really had a blow up moment. We never did. We got a, a a good bit in the beginning because we were uh we had a lot of uh friends uh shout us out, whether that be Mark or Jack. Jack Sean, but Jack Septikai and um the game grumps. Pretty much everyone we worked with at the time. We we Alex Jones. We always had our, our fingers <laughs> in a in a in several pots at once and yeah. you know, luckily that worked out for us. So who's like the fastest blow up on in YouTube history? Mr. Ever. Beast? No, not Mr. Beast. Jack Sep. I don't know. I don't know, dude. I feel Jack, like I feel like Mr. Beast. Sean blew up a large deal because of like um, PewDiePie mentioning him, and I feel like he was a fan of of PewDiePie and Mark, mm-hmm. and then he would like watch their videos, and then they shouted him out, and dude, he fucking Mark also had an insane growth. Like we're talking like wait, going wait. from fifty thousand or below fifty thousand subscribers to over a million in like a year. He worked with Markiplier when he had 50, less than a year, way less than Tommy a year in it. Yeah, oh, it went true. crazy. We I re- he so he DM'd me. He had like two thousand subs. He DM'd me. He's like, "Hey man, like I'm coming to your show, uh, in in March before COVID." And that was like 2019 October. And now he has what like 17 million. Dude, we we saw him at the mall once. We we're just walking and just saw him. So we took a picture with him. Yeah, he's crazy. He's really witty. He like super fast. Have you guys? Well, he's watched? also British, so yeah. Well, well we that yeah. We didn't get to talk to him that much. He was hanging out with like a bunch of uh, a bunch of I guess his posse. Yeah, they yeah. looked like they were they were, they all had were book, they, they had book bags line? on and they had heelys and stuff like that. Really, like light hard. up shoes whenever they well, were. Well, that around. there was that one guy that was like I just assumed they were really short adults who liked kid wearing kids stuff. Well, there was that one guy though. Well, there was that one guy that was like clearly like fifty, mate, forty, fifty. Yeah. But he also dressed up in the kids. He had the kids stuff yeah. on too. Well, I don't want to judge yeah. this friend group, you know. Sounds like a dope friend group. Sounds like we're yeah. fucking up. I mean, yeah, it's man. a very diverse friend group. Maybe not so much in 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 style, but definitely in in age. Not in race. No. Strictly strictly Caucasian there. Yeah. Not unfortunate. Well, one of the guys looked like maybe he could pass as half Filipino. I'm not sure. Yeah, he was. But that might have just been me, you know, just like maybe. Maybe he was just kind of tan. I don't know. Yeah, he was. He was as as the whites say, spicy. Yeah, exactly. Anyway, your album is out now. People should go stream it. You got great. Your music videos are fucking always killer. Um, we have man. ten fruit flies now, just all around. Dude, they fuck it. I feel like I took some of them out, and then like the ones that were like waiting back were like, now's our chance to like. <laughs> are you happy to be on the most putrid episode of the podcast, bro. Like fruit flies normally, like no, I didn't. I I, I <laughs> like they're literally like swarming. I didn't, I didn't shower this morning, so so Did you bring them with the vibe. You? Yeah, I okay. probably brought them with me to be honest. Like I like legit like on our podcast, maybe every now and then there'll be one or two that just like bother us. But like, if you remember back when we worked at Game Grumps, we had to deal with fruit flies a lot because Danny wouldn't wash his hair, and so like whenever he stepped in, crazy. they would just always like fly God around. Damn, fucking swarm! Especially during it lunch, was like, it was he'd like, sit down and eat, and would get in all the food that everyone was trying. It to was eat. almost like a biblical thing in Revelation. Like like that's kind like of a gnarly. swarm of fucking like not just fruit flies. They were like his little buddies, bugs. his minions. Like, there were other bugs lots. too. Remember? I don't remember what they were. Maybe bed bugs. There was some sort of, like, beetle he always brought to the office in his pocket. (laughs) It's dope. Yeah. (laughs) 
The we Beatles, loved it. Bro. He's the Beatles. He's like the he, new Beatles. He yeah. is literally the Beatles. Danny Sexbang is is basically like the new Beatles. He's the new John Lennon. For many reasons. You know? You'll see what we mean in 2024. <laughs> anyway, uh, dude, thanks for coming on. You guys can go to our Patreon right now. And for five bucks a month, you can see the uh, extended version of this podcast where we're going to we're gonna get spicy. We turn after the lights off. Hours. Hours. So we got after hours. It's it's pretty sweet. It's uh, turn the lights off. Uh, we go for a little extra longer. Yeah. Know? So uh, we're going to talk about some real juicy shit. Maybe uh, use the, the penis spray outside that I saw, the, the elongation spray. Oh. Yeah. If you want. I honestly, I honestly might need that. I nut real fast. I've kind of maxed out on that stuff. Really? Do you, you use it before? All the time. Does it work? Yeah. Like legitimately work? Do we actually have like spray out there that's yeah, for... it's like literally out there. I was like contemplating. Being oh, like, I, I, I didn't this? even know we had that. That's a big ass proof. That one's, that's like the leader right there. Yeah, it's the pack. Here, you want your credit card? P- yeah, please. <sighs> Someone's going to freeze frame it like in midair with my number on it. <laughs> <laughs> I already held it up and flipped it oh, okay. around for Luke. <laughs> hey, well, guys, thank you for tuning in. Go check out Alex. Uh, Luke put up his socials uh, and his full uh, legal birth name and social security number, date of birth, and mother's maiden. <laughs> but you don't have a social security number. You're Canadian. I do. I actually Canadian. have one. I have to have one to get an O one visa. Is, oh, was that really it? Yeah. Okay, bleep that out. That. I'm not. I'm not. Luke even, might just think I'm joking. I'm not even that chancing a, it. That actually is my social, Luke. So please blur my mouth and and bleep that out because that actually was my social security number. And hey, solidarity. Make sure you blow our mouths out, Luke, because some some of some of the little rats watching are pretty good at that shit. So, all right, guys. Well, we'll uh, see you next week with less fruit flies. Or more, if you guys Probably like it. Probably more, because they have lots of sex. We'll see. We'll see. Uh, what what the uh, what the what the fans oh, think? God, there's so what many the, in dude. Here. They're like tripling. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. It must. It dude. It must be like. Oh no, you guys took out the Coca Cola or the the Sprite. The Sprite. Yeah. Hopefully I think it's. They're... I think it's this bringing them out, but they're just not going into it. Yeah, You've got big enough holes in there. I like. I think it just takes long, and probably because we're around it, they're not. But I, I like basically we had two fruit flies, so I brought a trap in, and instead all it did was just bring out more fruit flies without actually catching any of them. Fruit oh. flies. But we'll talk about this on Super Mega Cast After Hours. See you there, maybe if you pay for it. But do you want to say anything before we leave? Pay for it. <laughs> Matt and Ryan, that was not funny, but I love Super Mega. <laughs>